Give me 10 seconds and then you'll be up. All right, good morning. Um, welcome to my kitchen. Usually I have my kids here, but they're all gone today. They're on field trips and at driver's ed, so I have my neighbor Shannon. Now, she lives two miles away but we used to be neighbors, so I still think of you as my neighbor. Close enough. So today we are going to be talking about essential oils and how to save money uh, using essential oils. So first I want to say, um, say good morning, because I see people are coming on the screen now. So just to recap, this is my friend Shannon, and we are talking about essential oils and how to save money with them. And um, also, let me find our video. I want to get comments going. So start telling us what state you're from, what country you're from, and I really want... I'm waiting until he shares this to Quirky Mama, but um, I really want you to tell us about essential oils and how you got started in them. All right. So, good morning. Thank you for joining us in our kitchen this morning. Um, go ahead. You can start. Okay. <laughs> well, sorry. I'm just wait, trying just, to find a uh, I might as well get started on the location. I'm Shannon from Raleigh, North Carolina, and um, I got started in oils. Um, by accident, as a lot of people do actually. I That's had right. my gallbladder removed, which is very unfortunate, and I wish I had known um, not to do that back in the day, but you know, you never know until you know. And it was a little too late for me. So I had uh, two weeks after my surgery, I had orthoscopic surgery, which means there's like, like five different incisions in your abdominal wall. Um, and that's a lot of trauma to those muscles. So mm -hmm. two weeks after I had my surgery, I was in a lot of pain. I was laying down and a friend of mine was over and she um, knew all about doTERRA. I had never even heard of doTERRA, mm -hmm. hadn't heard of essential oils, none of that. Um, so she ran out to her car and said, just give me a minute, I'll be right back. And she comes in and I don't know her that well. Mm -hmm. And she says, you know, just lift up your shirt. And I'm going, I, what? You know, I don't know you that well. I don't know if I feel comfortable with this. Exactly. And she's like, trust me, it's okay. So I lift up my shirt. She puts a drop of frankincense oil on her finger. And she takes that drop and just touches each one of the five incisions. Wow. And then I'm laying there for 15 minutes. And 15 minutes later, she asks me, well, how are you doing? I'm like, well, it hurts. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm sitting there going, this is ridiculous. You know, um, pain pills aren't helping. Yeah. This isn't going to do anything. Very skeptical, very rational. Mm -hmm. um, and she goes, well, okay, well, let's do it again. And I'm like, fine, whatever. So I let her put another drop on there. And five minutes later, it was the weirdest thing. I could taste the frankincense in my mouth. Wow. And so and I asked her about this. I said, it's really strange. Like, I can suddenly taste it. And she's like, oh, that means it's, it's now in your blood stream. It's in your system. Um, and she goes, oh, by the way, how are you feeling? And I said, oh, my gosh, I'm not hurting. That's awesome. And well, the amazing thing is, though, yeah, it wasn't hurting, but the really incredible thing is it never, ever hurt again. Hmm. That was it. Forever. I got up, I was walking around, the next day, no pain. It was just done. Wow. It was incredible. That's awesome. It was incredible. That's so, awesome. So that was your beginning with That doTERRA. was my introduction to doTERRA. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. So tell me why you started with um, why doTERRA. Why doTERRA? Okay. Yes. Well, I'm a really, as I mentioned, rational, skeptical kind of person. I just don't take people's word for things. I'm a big fan of research. So I just started doing research. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that says it's essential oils, but it has a drop in it. Uh, and it's mostly just fillers, and I knew that. So I just started doing some research. And the bottom line is I found out that it's pure. It's completely what it says it is. You know, third-party testing, all that stuff that's super important. Um, most importantly was results. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew people who were having amazing results with it. And I tried a few, and the results were huge. So, but in terms of, I mean, I always thought, well, there, there are several good companies out there, and I'm thinking, it, you know, cost is probably, you know, going to be really important to me. But when mm -hmm. I started looking at it, how much are you getting per drop? Right. What's the potency in the end? You know, it's cheaper to buy the most concentrated, most pure ones. Mm -hmm. So, and then there's That's also this um, other concept that I'm, I'm a really big cook. I love to cook, love food, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Oh, I love, I love learning cooking. 
lessons from you. Cooking is fun. Yeah, we need to cook again. Yes, together, right? yes, please. Yes, yes. It's, it's so much fun. Uh, love it to is. cook. Love good food, right? Mm -hmm. So um, there's this concept in food, in wine. It applies to shellfish too, mm -hmm. um, called terroir. Terroir means the taste of the earth or mm -hmm. the taste of the soil, right? So, for example, if you take a um, a grapevine that's growing in Burgundy, France. Mm -hmm. And you take that exact vine and you do a cutting from it and you transplant it somewhere else, you plant it in California. That exact vine from that exact plant will grow a completely different tasting grape. Wow. And the only reason is the awesome. content of the soil. Mm -hmm. So, And it's the same, like I said, with shellfish. If you take mussels that are harvested off the coast of France or Greece or somewhere and then you transplant them to a different part of the ocean, those mussels will also have a different flavor mm -hmm. because of the salinity of the sea. Same idea. So oh, I yeah, go I with know. doTERRA. One of the top reasons I love doTERRA is that they harvest at the source. They harvest wherever it grows best naturally. And they're not, they're not growing it in a uh, hothouse environment. They're growing it where God originally placed that plant to grow. For instance, lavender famously comes from France and it grows wild there. So that's where they go to harvest it. Frankincense comes best from Northern Africa, areas like that, they harvest there. So that is really, really important because those plants are growing where they were designed to go, mm -hmm. grow. And they're not, um, think of it like a, a tomato. If you buy a hothouse tomato, from the grocery store in the middle of the winter, well, it doesn't even taste like a tomato. But not only does it not taste like a tomato, it's kind of you know, mealy and white inside, it also doesn't have the nutritional value of a garden-grown, uh, fresh tomato mm -hmm. that you just pick outside your yard in July or yeah. August. So it's the same thing with the oils. If you pick them, the plants, mm -hmm. if you harvest the plants in an area where they grow naturally, where they grow best, they will also provide the most health benefit. Mm -hmm. That is so good to know. Yeah, that's really yeah. awesome. That is really awesome. Hey, those of you who are watching us, do comment and tell us where you're from. Um, we're on KidCast, so we thank KidCast for um, having us on this morning. Quirky Mama is not working, so. Well, it's KidCast today. So it is KidCast today. So comment and tell us where you're from. The other night I did this for a while and was able to um, help some people answer questions that they had about how to use the essential oil. So f feel free to comment and let us know that. Um, what would we like to do? We can make this short. Um, do you want to, uh, you yeah. want to talk about saving money or you want to do Yes. The... Let me bring this closer. All right. So as we wiggle around here. Okay. So we are, um, yes, we're wiggling around here. <laughs> okay. So we have a few people who are watching us right now. So I kind of want to, we're closer now so you can see us a little bit, a bit closer. So do comment, tell us where you're watching from. We love that. Mm -hmm. And also tell us, um, where you're from, any questions that you have for us, for me and for Shannon, mm -hmm. and now you know about how things are grown. I'm really fascinated about that, just how plants are not the same, you know, like that's you can't just take a plant and it grows, it does the same thing. So That's right. So we used to do For instance, any that. plant I take from Lowe's and put in my house doesn't make it. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I'm so. going to turn the camera around. Um, let me see. We can come over here and do... Uh, this, do you wanna? Yeah, I'll hold the camera. Okay. okay, watch my fingers there. Okay, so the other day, I did this with my friend Kim. She taught me how to make shower melts. Do you Say that me? again, because I couldn't hear you. Shower melts, shower right? Shower melts. So this is what they look like when they're all done. I'll, I'll start at the end product and then work back to the beginning. Sure. So this is a shower melt. And you would just put this in the corner of your shower and then you would get all the aromatherapy benefits of it while you're taking a shower. This one we did with rosemary, eucalyptus, and uh, melaleuca, which is also called tree, tea tree oil. So in case people are not feeling really well, um, this would be good. So all you do is put it in a jar like this and wrap it with a ribbon and it really makes a nice teacher gift. Um, maybe for your mailman or somebody else who, um, you just wanna give them a nice little gift. These really are just pennies per square. So. That is what they look like when you're all done. To do them ahead of time, or to, you know, to make them and put them, I got these flower molds, 
I think I got these from Ikea. And I know you love Ikea. So. I'm a big fan of Ikea. So I got those from Ikea. So we are going to do a box of baking soda. So I paid 52 cents for my box of baking soda. And then I'm going to use wild orange and peppermint. And these are um, maybe like five, 10 cents a drop. So this really is gonna cost you very little money. You can get a lot of mileage out of it. And wild orange plus peppermint is amazing. Yeah, they are really great wake me up um, scents. So they're really, um, really awesome for that. So I'm gonna put in enough water to make this like wet sand. And give me a spoon. Big fan of something that has no recipe. Just do it till it looks right. <laughs> that is one thing I learned from Shannon with cooking. Is you don't need a measurement. That's you don't right. Need measurements. Cook like, it till it's done. That's the. That's how you do it. Yeah. And you don't want it to get too wet because it, you're just going to let it air dry. Or if, you're, if your silicone mold can go in the oven, which I don't remember if these can or not. But if it can, you can just put it in at 200 for an hour. Okay. So and silicone can. Totally can. Go in the oven. That's perfectly fine. Yes. So I just make this like wet sand. Right, let's see if we can um, kind of pick some up because I can't see the white in the white bowl. So kind of move it around. So that is can... true. I wish I had a dark, there you go. A dark okay. bowl. So I'm only going to do a couple drops of wild orange and a couple drops of peppermint. And the whole kitchen's going to smell amazing. Yes. So these are really great. We won't be able to sleep through the rest of this video because of that. <laughs> Yes. It will keep us up. It's better. That's like caffeine in a blend right there. Orange and peppermint. It's amazing. Exactly. I was thinking of having a DIY night. Like, want to do that? Like, we can get some friends together and make some Absolutely. Christmas presents. I think that would be really fun. Absolutely. I was just telling Jennifer I want to make. Um, I want to make little gift tags made of clay. Tiny little gift tags that you just tie on with the ribbon, and and then you can put a drop of oil on them before you give them to your friends and the cool thing is their gift will be beautiful but it will smell beautiful too mm -hmm. I love that idea what are you gonna do in the clay are you going to like I can you just take a stamp like okay. and you press a little Christmas tree or you know an angel or something yes. cute for Christmas and and just put a drop of oil on it and it'll slowly slowly give off the fragrance mm -hmm. people will love that I love that idea so yeah. I'm gonna do a couple DIYs at my house like invite people over so let's do that as soon as my unpacking is done Yes. I'm still, not, still unpacking from our recent movie. If you've watched us in previous weeks, we're still talking about all the boxes we have. That's right. So, do we have anybody commenting? Is it very quiet this morning? A very quiet morning. Uh, okay, it'd be nice to. Be nice hey, to if you are watching, comments. let us know. I know. Probably most everybody's at work. Like, I usually get the mamas and the grandmas who are home and right. have some time. So anyway, so this is what it looks like. I just yeah. um, just mixed it in because of the orange. I wanted to kind of blend that color in. And then all you do is put it in. So it's literally just mold. baking soda, water, and a tiny little bit of oil. That's oh, it. Hey, Jenny. Thanks for letting us know you're there. Oh, yay. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, do you use essential oils already? You can comment and tell us if you've used them before or if you have any questions. Shannon is a treasure trove of information for um, how to use essential oils. She's the one who really got me um, talking about them, just listening to how she was using them for her family. Um, so I want to put her back on camera in a minute to talk. Sure. Talk well, Linda that. says that she's still laughing about this because she moved a year ago. Not done with the unpacking yet. We, oh. all, <laughs> we all feel that. We all understand. Okay. Like, anybody okay. who's ever moved has that box three years later that you just haven't gotten that far. So. Yeah. Yes. Um, Jenny says, what are you making? So Jenny must have just joined okay. us. Hey, Jenny. So I am making shower melts. And this is what they look like. I made these the other day with my friend Kim. This was her recipe. And so you can make that a little prettier to put in a jar, but this is a great present for, um, you know, a teacher gift or anybody, a Sunday school teacher. And um, these are really good. What you do with these is you put them um, in your shower. So when you're taking a shower, you just put this in the corner of your shower. And then as it's melting during the shower, the heat and plus the cube, this is just baking soda and essential oil. And it's just giving you great aromatherapy benefits. So this one that my friend made had rosemary melaleuca, which is also called tea tree oil, and eucalyptus in it. And so this is good for somebody who's not feeling so well and they just um, yeah. really, breathe. really help you breathe really, really well. Yes. Yes. It's really, really good for when you're just not quite feeling right. 
Yeah, yes. So that one is really good. So I had just gotten out one of my mason jars, you know, a small mason jar, and you just put a bunch in and then tie it off with a ribbon. Yeah. So today I am using wild orange and peppermint. So the ones I'm making today are really good for trying to wake up in the morning. Right. These are your morning shower melts. These are not before bed shower melts. <laughs> this is the be opposite, right. Jenny says she uses lavender for sleep. It would be awesome oh, yes. to have AM melts and PM melts. That's a really good um, idea. And then you could do lavender if you're taking a shower before bed, and you could do peppermint yes. and orange for in the morning. That is really good. Yeah. Now, these are just baking soda, and I did one box, one one pound, it's just one pound box of baking soda, yeah. and then about a half cup of water. When you um, mix it together, it should feel kind of like the consistency of wet sand. And then just press it into the silicone mold. This one came from Michael's, and the pink one came from Ikea, which is Shannon's favorite store. That's right. So. I'm, I'm kind of a fan. I can't help it. Yeah. So I find it to be really fun um, doing these. One thing I love to teach people about essential oils, and I know Shannon is really into, um, passionate about this too, is teaching people how to save money using oils. That's right. So I'm going to put you back on screen, because I just want you to share okay. with um, those. Let me just wash the baking soda really quickly. <laughs> okay. So usually on these videos, on a Thursday morning, I have my children here, but they are all... Um, my one daughter's at driver's ed, and my other two girls are at a farm on a field trip. My girlfriend took them for me, so. It's a perfect time of year to go to a farm. So this is a great gift to give the girlfriend who, um, I'm gonna be giving this to Jessica today. <laughs> she is getting over some sickness, so I think she'll probably really enjoy some shower melts. So I am going to turn the phone back to you. Okay. Do you wanna sit down and talk? Yeah, about let's that? go over here. Okay. Okay, so Jenny said, oh yes, yeah, so that she uses lavender for sleep. So That's right. Shannon now is going to um, just talk with us a bit about, um, just whatever you want to share about the oils. Well, there's, I, love, I love just learning from you. There is no doubt that those melts are a lot cheaper than a Tylenol PM, and they're certainly better for you. So mm -hmm. if you did the lab, I really like the idea of AM and PM melts, mm -hmm. and, and doing, you know, sleepy ones and wake-me-up ones. Yes. Um, they're, they're actually cheaper than a cup of coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> so that is, uh, that would be a lot of savings right there if you could just skip a couple of those a week, right? But um, they're, the essential oils in general, it's, it's always funny when you're dealing with something that, that feels really expensive to realize that they're going to save you so much money. And it took me probably three years to figure that out. I literally, I've been in doTERRA for almost five years now, I think. It's been over four. And oh, the first wow. three years, I just didn't know how to get the value out of them. And I didn't really know what I was doing. Now that I'm using them to replace kitchen cleaner, I don't buy kitchen cleaner anymore. Now that I'm using them to replace, you know, antibacterial hand soaps, don't buy that anymore. I don't buy mm -hmm. um, bathroom cleaner, window cleaner. I don't buy any household cleaners pretty much anymore. It's wonderful. Um, so that's saving me tons that's of awesome. money right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, I don't buy, you know, all sorts of medical product. Like, think first aid kit. My first aid kit is that bag of oils. I've got one just like that, those beautiful bags. Yes. I've got an orange one. Love orange. Orange is my favorite color. Oh, and the orange chair the orange today. Chair. That's right. <laughs> um, but I, my medicine cabinet is literally that bag plus band-aids. Mm. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's really great. That so is. I love that. And as a mama of boys who scrape their knees every day, it's um, really helpful. You should tell about your alley blend too, the one that yeah. you use for okay. pets. When yeah. you said that, I thought, I want to remember what's in that. Right. So, so I have what I call like boo-boo blend. My kids are getting way too old for that. They're six and eight now. My boys, I need to stop calling it boo-boo spray. It is now... <laughs> Uh, right now it's just labeled pain. I should call it comfort because it doesn't cause pain. Uh, it takes away pain, thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's a great blend. I literally take an empty bottle and I fill it mostly with fractionated coconut oil, which is just your carrier oil. It's neutral, no medicinal value, no healing value, but it's really, really great for diluting the oils. Mm -hmm. I think of all of those oils pretty much as a concentrate. Um, so. So I fill it up mostly with coconut and I put three drops of lavender oil in it, which is so soothing for the skin, really good for pain. Mm -hmm. um, just helps kids feel better right away. Um, I put two drops of melaleuca, which is in your shower melts, the tea tree oil. That's just really good for making sure nothing's alive in there mm -hmm. that could cause problems later on. Um, I put one drop of oregano and you have to be super careful with oregano because it's what they call a hot oil. If you put oregano directly on your skin, it will, it'll burn you. 
So you want to dilute it, but again, mm -hmm. it makes sure nothing's living that's going to cause problems later. Um, and then I put, um, let's see what else, lavender, melaleuca, oregano. I put a drop of frankincense in there. You already heard my mm -hmm. story earlier. If you weren't here, um, frankincense was my intro to doTERRA, and it's it literally took away all the pain of surgery that I had in two applications. I love that. It was amazing. I love that. So um, I put frankincense in there. If I have it on hand, I also put a drop of, um, oh, what's that little tiny one in the yellow bottle? Um, Merlot Camino? Mm-mm. What's it called? I can't remember now off the top of my head. I didn't know how to pronounce it for a long time. It's mm -hmm. optional anyway. I can't remember the name of it, but... Um, yeah, we'll have to, what we'll do afterwards is I'll just type this up in the comment section yeah. too. I don't expect you to remember this anyway, but. One thing I want to say real quick um, is Jenny said that she wants to make the melts for her cousin, mm -hmm. but she also, her cousin needs to cut back on coffee. So. I'll just turn around since we're talking. Jenny, one thing that your cousin can do is just take a drop of lemon. I don't have it right here on the table, but I just put a drop of lemon in water every day and um, start my day off with that and I don't need caffeine anymore. And if I feel like that afternoon slump coming on, I just, mm -hmm. I like to drink it throughout the day anyway, but I just put a drop of lemon or lime. Lemon, lemon costs ten dollars, so two hundred and fifty drops. You get in each one of these bottles, you get um, about two hundred and fifty drops, maybe even a little bit more. And lemon, it's very cleansing. If you've ever heard before about starting your day with lemon, it's really good to get your digestive system started. But I just wanted to cut in real quick with that because um, if your cousin does that, she will feel um, much much better. And so Shannon true. and I can help you with a lot of other things for you and her too. So true. And and if you really, really need a strong pick me up, put a drop in your hands, rub it together, and breathe it really deeply. Yes. That will wake you right up. It's really mm -hmm. hard to stay sleepy with citrus oil mm -hmm. going into, yes. your, <laughs> into your sinal cavity. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so um, helichrysum. Yeah. Or helichrysum uh, okay. or helichrysum. I don't know how to say it. I think you said it correctly. That's, That's the other it. oil I had to drop to my blend. Okay. So it's three frankincense. Two melaleuca, of, or I'm sorry, three lavender, two melaleuca, a frankincense, an oregano, and a drop of helichrysum. And um, um, that's really cheap for the whole bottle. And that bottle, we get scrapes constantly, and that yeah. bottle still lasts me at least three, four months. That's awesome. So, how, how big is your spray bottle? You oh, that's not even a spray. That's just like one of these regular sized bottles. I just put a drop uh, directly on a band aid yeah. or directly on the wound, oh, and okay. that's it. And the amazing thing is that oh, wow. um, I'm making that today. It's it's fabulous to have around. It, it instantly takes the pain just right out. The boys stop crying about whatever was hurting, mm -hmm. but it also just the healing's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so, as usual, moms were really really good about treating other people, but we forget to take care of ourselves. Yes. I know this is just <laughs> chronic mommy disease of forgetting to care for ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Well, a couple weeks ago, I got a little scrape on my ankle. And had it been on my boys, I would immediately put that pain oil that I make right on it, and two days later it would have been gone. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot to treat it because I'm thinking, eh, it's fine, right? So yeah. five, six days later, it's still there and it still hurts a little bit. I'm looking down going, what is the problem here? Why is this still hurting me? And I went, oh, I never treated it. Mm -hmm. And I forgot that before doTERRA, scrapes used to take a week to heal. I completely forgot that that's normal, you know? Yeah. but. But it's not normal in our house. It's awesome. awesome. It's awesome. So um, yeah, what what should mm -hmm. normally take seven, eight days, two, three days, and that's it. It's fabulous. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yep. I love that. I and mean, Jenny, just to tell you about the lemon oil. Um, I don't know what brand you use. You just want to make sure that it has. Cause she said she said she has lemon oil and she yeah. might use it now. Um, with DoTerra, they have. I'm looking for one that you can ingest. What can you ingest here? Okay. So um, with DoTerra when it has the supplement facts on the side, just like when we buy food from the grocery store, you see the supplement facts. If the bottle has that on the side, you can ingest it. So I just wanted to, yep. to mention that just Completely in case. Safe. Just, yeah, it's safe to take internally. Not only safe, but it's delicious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I put that lemon oil every single day in our water, in mm -hmm. our house. We have lemon, grapefruit, and lime yes. sitting in my pantry where we get our water every day. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I mean, every day I drink it. Mm -hmm. So good for your health and your just mood and it's yes. just delicious. I, I find I drink more water, mm -hmm. too. I'm not really good about drinking water like I should be. Mm -hmm. And um, But if there's a drop of lemon in it, it's delicious, yeah. and I love it. So That's a really good point. I drink a lot more water since doing that. Yeah. One word to the wise, this is huge. If you're mm -hmm. going to put citrus oils in water, it's really important that your cup is glass. 
or metal. Mm -hmm. Don't do that in plastic. Mm -hmm. um, there are some plastics, like the kind that the caps are made out of here, that are totally safe to be with mm -hmm. citrus oils. But there are other types of plastic um, which are not safe. And I know this from experience because one time I made the mistake of putting a drop of lemon oil in a cup of water that was in one of those uh, solo cups. Like a, uh, a red yeah. party plastic cup. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think anything of it. This was years ago before I knew much. And um, I go to pick up the cup about 20 minutes later and it sprung a leak. <laughs> and I thought, well, this is weird. And then I looked at yeah. it and the plastic had actually like bonded with that one drop of oil. Wow. One drop in a 16 ounce or maybe 24, those the big solo cups. And so I thought, you know, I told you, skeptical, rational, I thought, that's a fluke. Mm -hmm. that's so awesome. I did an experiment. I went and got another one and put a drop of oil in that, and the next thing you know, it sprung a leak. So <laughs> amazingly, it won't cause you any harm in your body. It's actually really good for your body because you luckily are not made of, you know, plastic. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so, but, but do make sure you're drinking. You should be anyway for your health, but especially if you're gonna put citrus oils, make sure it's glass or metal mm -hmm. container. Yes. Yeah, really, really important. Thank you, I love that. I wanna give a shout out to my mom. She just said hello. Yeah. So mom, this is my friend Shannon. She's hey, been mom. my neighbor for two years and one of my very first friends. I told my mom about you, so now you get to meet her. Um, everybody else, Everybody else is on field trips or driver's ed, and mm -hmm. Riley's upstairs. So it's me and Shannon holding down the fort this morning. Yeah, we'll meet, we might have to braid a little hair. Just <laughs> <Yeah. now. laughs> We were joking about how we always start with a hairstyle. Right. We weren't doing that today. Right. Can you tell everybody about oregano, how you've used oregano? Because I love your oregano yeah. stories. Okay, so this one's amazing. Um, again, I was saying that really skeptical, really rational, really kind of a careful person. And so I used to say, well, this is great. I've learned a way of, a lot of things I can do for my kids' health, for my family's health, that I avoided trips to the doctor. But one thing I always thought I will have to go to the doctor for is when your kids get that really bad sore throat, you mm -hmm. know, and you're thinking, well, they're going to have to go get a test to see what they need. You guys know. You've been in that situation before. And, um, you know, there are serious things out there that can turn into other worse diseases. And I always said, you know, essential oils are great and all, but I'm not gonna mess around with the big stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but one time, just, uh, gosh, I don't think it was that long ago, a few months ago, my kids both came down with that really red, raw, sore throat. And um, I said, you know, I'm just gonna try something for like three days. It's not gonna turn into that really bad disease that causes you to lose your hearing. Uh, that one that was famous <laughs> in history, right? Yeah. Um, the one that reminds you of Scarlett mm -hmm. O'Hara, right? The one that starts with the word Scarlett, that one. Um, you don't want your kids to get that. It can cause yeah. deafness. That's serious, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that, that comes from untreated sore throats. Really, really bad bacterial ones. Not the viral kind, but the bacterial kind. Um, and so I, I was really kind of not wanting to mess around with that, but I said, I'll give it three days. I'm gonna just try it. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I put um, the most antibacterial oil I could think of. The one that, what I said, kills the most stuff. And that's oregano. So I put three drops of that in, you know those little empty veggie capsules that you can buy? Yes. Um, they're yeah. awesome. You can make yeah. your own pills. And they're mm -hmm. great for any oil you just don't like the taste of. Throw them in a veggie capsule and you can swallow them. Um, but I got those and I put three drops in two capsules for each day for each kid. So I was making four of these a day. Mm -hmm. And then I would give my kid um, one in the morning, one at night. And what I did is I put the three drops of oregano and I filled it up with the coconut oil because I just wanted to make sure it was mm -hmm. diluted and easy on the stomach. Yeah, that's um, I don't know if that was necessary, but I was being extra careful. So I put that and they took it morning and night for seven days. And my plan was give it three days without improvement, we were going to the doctor. Mm -hmm. So um, before I meet my deductible, I don't know about you guys, it's 130 bucks for me to go to the doctor mm -hmm. per kid. They, the doctor could care less if I'm bringing them both at the same time, they won't do it that way. You know how that is. So 260 bucks mm -hmm. plus the prescription is what it would have cost me to go get that handled. Plus, I know they were gonna wanna prescribe something that was gonna be bad for the gut, gut culture. And I, then I would have had the added cost of extra probiotics and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. I tried the oregano and it was amazing. It was amazing. The next day, my kids acted basically still a little sick. The day after that, they acted not sick at all, but tired, kind of like a normal course of medication. 
the third day they were themselves pain free redness free no swelling nothing mm -hmm. I just did it for, for a week because you know a normal course mm -hmm. just to make sure nothing was gonna come back and that was that I love that awesome and mm -hmm. it cost I mean I ended up using for two kids full course for a week I used a half a bottle of oregano mm -hmm. what is oregano like 35 bucks or something oh, yeah about something so mm -hmm. $17 to treat two kids for a week instead of two hundred and sixty dollars plus the prescription mm -hmm. I mean that's amazing exactly yeah exactly and we would not say don't go to the doctor but we would say oils my friend calls them the first line of defense and yeah. I love that and so just to say like we would not say don't go to the doctor but um, no. I always give that disclaimer when I talk about oils because yeah. we're not trying to we're not going to guarantee that anything is going to you know prevent or cure a disease or anything like that but no. but it is a first line of defense and it's so, a great first step right and you may not need to you know, none of us want to go to the doctor. The doctors don't want you to have to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. um, if you need it, you need it. But they didn't yeah. need it. It was awesome. I love that. It was awesome. I and it never, that. ever came back. That was it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it worked. It yes. was amazing. And I did not know. That, like, opened up a whole new reality for me. That there were a lot of things that I could do at home. I just didn't know. Yeah. So, it was powerful. That's awesome. And I think it's safe to say um, that it's been proven that oregano does kill some strains of bacteria that mm. are becoming resistant to antibiotics. This has been third party tested and proven. Yes, that's right. I yeah. heard about that too. Absolutely. So there is definitely science to back that up, not just my experience. It mm -hmm. wasn't a fluke. There is a lot yeah. of good science about that. Yeah. Really cool. That's really good. Yeah. Um, Jenny is saying that she uses peppermint oil for headaches and mm -hmm. she agrees about needing to dilute it. She said she yes. learned that the hard yeah. way. Yeah. Like, Peppermint's mm -hmm. interesting. There's actually, um, everybody's bodies are different. Your body chemistry is not going to be the same as somebody else's. I use peppermint straight. Mm -hmm. um, but I know people who even half and half dilute and a one-to-one -one ratio is too strong. So you just have to play with it, figure out what's good for you. It might just be all this frizzy hair. But <laughs> I put it straight, like right through the hair, you know, on the nape of the neck when uh, I get a headache. I don't mm -hmm. put it on the skin directly, but I put it in my hair. Same uh, thing on the temples. I don't like to get it near my eyes because it kind of has that menthol-y burning thing right. if you get it near your eyes but if you put it inside your hairline mm -hmm. on the temples awesome for headaches wow that's yeah. a great tip i love your tips absolutely i've learned so much of course you might need all of this to get, <laughs> I, I don't wish know. i had all of that i love your hair well I love you know, your hair. shout out to all the curly girls in north carolina yes. this is um this is this is difficult weather to have curls <laughs> yes <laughs> but luckily really we're cute. coming into winter where it won't be quite so hard but yeah yeah, like, yeah. even beautiful and um, what other tips do you like to share with the oils? All right, I'm trying to think of some of my favorites, um, especially when it comes to money saving. Oh, I love, love, love buying much, much, much less expensive soap and mm -hmm. adding a drop of oils. I buy the, never buy the antibacterial soaps. It's cheaper to buy the, the basic and add your own. Mm -hmm. um, doTERRA has awesome soap called On Guard, but if you run out of that, a drop of On Guard in regular soap, shake it up, mm -hmm. and it's... Awesome. Also, hand sanitizer. You don't have to buy. You know how expensive it is? Like two dollars more if you go to one of those fragrance stores and you buy them. Mm -hmm. They're like four or five bucks for mm -hmm. those tiny little hand sanitizers. Whereas you know, one drop of oil, right. rubbing around. You're talking Not pennies. only is it mm -hmm. you know sanitizing, it also smells awesome and it's so good for you. Mm -hmm. So that saves you money for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, all the cleaning that's products. That's huge. Um, and just general health and well-being. It is so much cheaper to stay healthy than to treat illness, right? Mm -hmm. Prevention is yeah. one pound of cure, they say, right? Yes. Well, it's also like really, really, really money-saving mm -hmm. to prevent things and stay healthy. Um, yeah. So that's that's huge. The uh, Another prescription that the doctor wanted me to try a few years ago was for um, mouth ulcers. And mm -hmm. I was told the problem is I only get them periodically. Mm -hmm. And I was told there's nothing that they can do to treat periodically that I have to be on something all year long. And I just, I don't like the idea of taking medicine when I'm not experiencing symptoms. Right. I just, eh, I don't want to mess with that. So what's great is I can take lemon and melaleuca, the tea tree, one drop of each, put it on a cold sore or a canker sore inside your mouth. Both of those are totally safe internally. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, it used to take me, and from the second grade, I had chronic canker sores, mouth ulcers, things like that. From the second grade, I don't think my husband and I kissed for the first 10 years of our marriage. I'm not kidding, because I always had, like, 
some sort of sore. Aww. It was terrible. It's just how my body yeah. liked to deal with stress or whatever. I'd get a sore. If I bit my cheek, I'd get a sore. Um, anything. I know a lot mm. of people suffer from that. So now, and it always took exactly, and I could like set a calendar to it, 14 days from the time I first felt it coming to it being gone. 14 days. Oh my word. 14. Yeah. So like if nice. I got two a month, that's my month. Right. You know, and I often really have multiples. Lemon, lemon and melaleuca, first of all, mm. takes the pain out. Mm. So like I can eat, I can brush my teeth. Whereas before, those two things were really difficult when you had that. Mm -hmm. um, but more importantly, three days. And wow. Three days. And they go, and it's, and the amazing yeah. thing is that since uh, beginning using the lemon in my water every day, I'm actually not getting them at all. <gasps> That's awesome. Yeah. It's That's huge. awesome. But if I do rarely, rarely, I mean, I used to have them all the time. Now yeah. I might get the same amount I got in a month. I get it in a year. Mm -hmm. But I honestly think it's the lemon because the lemon's, the main one that I drink every day, no matter what, just because I like it, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Um, but I don't really get them anymore. That's phenomenal. Yeah, it's amazing. That's phenomenal. It's amazing. Wow. But if I do, one drop lemon, one drop melaleuca, a couple times a day, and it's gone in three days. And it doesn't hurt during that time like it did. Yeah. It's just phenomenal. And so do you dilute that, or do you just put it straight? I put it straight, but that? again, you would have to know for you, neither one of those hurt when I add them. Okay. The lemon, I know, is totally... Fine. Some people are more sensitive to melaleuca than I am. Mm -hmm. um, if you find that generally you're sensitive to melaleuca, like if you do put it on a scrape and it burns a little bit, mm -hmm. then dilute it. I don't. Okay. I you put, just it put it on your finger. I put it on my mm -hmm. finger, touch it to the sore, brush my teeth, whatever I need to do. And and here's a good tip for you: yeah. melaleuca tastes like dirt. And I don't mean it <laughs> tastes like dirt, like it tastes bad. I mean it tastes like potting soil, right? It has this really earthy. When I say earthy, I mean it tastes like the earth. <laughs> So it's That's not funny. delicious to me. Mm -hmm. I got used to it and it doesn't bother me, but I do like to put the melaleuca first, then the lemon. Okay. Always end mm -hmm. on the delicious oil. There are a lot of yeah. really delicious oils um, and there are a lot of ones that aren't so tasty. So follow it up with the good one and you're good to go. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, Jenny's saying that she's the same way. So you're giving her some really good tips. Good, so, good. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really, really common. Mm -hmm. Really common. Oh, back pain. Back pain's another huge one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about all you moms out there, but um, I had sciatic issues after every baby, and I've had four babies. So oh. I never yeah. normally have back pain or sciatic, but you know when your hormones are high and your muscles and ligaments get really loose, mm -hmm. and then after that baby, I would have sciatic pain every single time. <clears throat> wow. But now um, I found that lemongrass and deep blue I basically don't have to do it anymore. It's saving me trips to the chiropractor. It's saving me trips to the physical therapist. I've done all of that before. Yeah. Lemongrass and, and deep blue work better than, than okay. physical therapy for me. Wow. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Now, lemongrass, yeah. here's another tip. Don't do lemongrass straight because it will, um, if, if you do it once or twice, it's fine. But if you're using it for anything chronic, mm -hmm. it'll... It'll start to irritate your skin, and it will dye you a little bit yellow. <laughs> you don't want you don't want your skin to go yellow. So That's um, funny. I once was treating like a sore spot on my leg, and I didn't even think about it. And a few days later, I'm like, why do I have a yellow patch on my thigh? And I'm thinking it kind of looked like after a bruise has faded and mm -hmm. it's now yellowy. And I'm like, I never even had a bruise there. And I'm like, ah. Oh the lemongrass so so do yeah. dilute the lemongrass because it it will i think they use it to dye yeah. fabrics in asia so uh, it, it will they? it will turn you a little bit yellow that's yeah <laughs> that's like the blue tansy when we went to the meeting mm -hmm. they're telling us the blue tansy when we do a yeah that was crazy right so, yes that was yeah they talked about this this yeah. new oil blue tansy is in deep blue but it's diluted it's just one of the ingredients right. they sell straight blue tansy now and they say that it will absolutely dye your skin like blue mm -hmm. ink yeah yeah, it's crazy looking. That is. But I mean, not permanently. It does fade after a couple hours, but yeah. you don't want your face to be blue or something. <laughs> That's, good. That's good. I love all your advice. I love yeah. it. Um, Heidi is saying the tea tree is probably under the taste category called umami. It's umami. Like yeah, yeah. Mushroomy, earthy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you knew more about I that. I agree. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is umami, but not in a mushroom delicious kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I actually don't mind it now that I'm used to it, but at first it was a really... Wow, this is kind of musty, you know, tasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very mommy. She's right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I learned a new word, and then I learned the word terroir that you terroir. Can you yeah. share about that again? Um, okay. So for those of you who were who joined us after, I was talking about terroir, and terroir is this 
hoity-toity sounding French term for, um, it means in French, the taste of the earth, terroir. Um, so, or the taste of the dirt or the soil. So if you take a uh, wine, a grape, uh, of grapevine that's used to grow, let's just say Burgundy wine, and to be technically Burgundy wine, it has to be grown in Burgundy. The reason is the soil composition there creates Burgundy wine. If you take that exact vine, do a cutting from it, the exact plant, not the same variety of plant, but that particular vine, and you transplant it to Southern California, you may get delicious wine, but you're not going to get Burgundy. Mm -hmm. It's going to actually taste different. And the only difference will be the soil from which the plant got its nutrients. So um, it's really interesting that the, the taste of the earth, no matter where you grow a plant, it does factor into your end product, your, your plant, your mm -hmm. fruit. So the way it works is not only in taste, but in nutrition. So for example, when I buy a tomato in the middle of the winter, and I go to the local grocery store and I pick it up, and I cut it open, it's kind of mealy and white inside. It, yes, it's a tomato, it may be the exact same plant, it may be the exact same variety as the tomato I planted in my garden in, in August, um, but it doesn't taste like a tomato. Mm -hmm. And not only does it not taste like a tomato, it doesn't have the nutritional value of my August, September tomato. Mm -hmm. where I harvested it at full ripeness and it's been growing in good soil that's been, you know, well fertilized with compost and all that, that tomato will taste completely different from a hothouse variety. So one of my favorite things about doTERRA is that they source their oils where they naturally grow best. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for instance, lavender is famous for growing in southern France and it grows wild there and it's been used as medicine there for thousands of years. So they don't grow lavender in a hothouse somewhere, they actually go harvest it where God naturally put it. Mm -hmm. And awesome. in doing so, not only do they get a better quality plant, better fragrance, they're getting more nutritional value. So this is huge, this mm -hmm. is huge. Um, I don't think anybody thinks that a plant grown in a hothouse is of the same quality as one that's grown where it's naturally best. And, and it's true, even if you grow it in the soil and not in a hothouse, but even if you grew it in soil in some other country, it's not going to be the same as lavender from where it grows wild. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why there's so much emphasis, emphasis nowadays on eating locally. Because if you want the best nutrition, you need to get stuff that grows well in your soil. When stuff is transplanted from other areas, it will never retain the amount of nutrition and healing properties that something grown locally will. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's a really good point. That is one of the best things, I think, about doTERRA, is that they source mm -hmm. where things grow best. Mm -hmm. It's huge yeah. for our health. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so you. terroir, there's your French word for the day. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to share before we, um, before we say goodbye to everybody? Yeah. Let me talk to all the ADD people out there. <laughs> <laughs> Takes one to know one. Um, I am one of these people who, and I know homemakers, people who do multiple jobs, um, you know, any kind of management and homemaking, by the way, that's management. That's what that is. So, mm -hmm. um, anybody who has to handle a lot of stuff at once, sometimes you walk into a room and you just feel like the world is spinning and you don't know where to start. And if you just had a list to go by, you might be okay, but you can't figure out where your list is. <laughs> that's the kind of <laughs> feeling I'm talking about. Um, I'm one of these people who has checklists to tell me to go look at other lists because I'm just trying to manage it. I, I suffer from like, I wouldn't call it chronic ADD, but just scatterbrainedness, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm just, sometimes you get um, just absolutely frenzied and, and you just don't know where to start. So one of my favorite things to do in that case is use oils on the back of my neck that um, are specifically for focus. They have a blend called Intune, doTERRA does, Intune. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things ever. If I put Intune on the back of my neck, I literally will feel like everything is possible again. <laughs> And That's not only really that, cool. but I can feel like I know where to start. Mm -hmm. um, it's truly amazing. If I have to study for a test, if I have to write a document, I go to that. If I don't have that, I put frankincense and orange on the back of my mm -hmm. neck. It's a good second um, mm -hmm. thing to go to. But yeah. I just want to say that there's great power in believing you can do stuff. And sometimes these oils will just help you get over that, I don't know what to do, hump. Mm -hmm. and make you feel like there's possibilities again and help you focus and get the job done. That's that awesome. is huge. I mean, I, I have a blend that I made for my kid at home that has that frankincense and it has the orange and it has things that are good for stimulus and focus. Mm -hmm. 
and um, just put it on before he does his homework. Oh, it helps with homework time. Mm. Big time, big time. My husband had yeah. to study for a test at work, so this is not just for kids. Um, he had one of those really big tests, those critical, difficult tests. He's in database programming, and it's intense, and it's hard, and um, you know, if he doesn't pass this test, you don't get to keep your job kind of test. It's, it's one of those things where they, they tell you up front, if you fail it the first time, this is how you deal with it, because they expect you to not pass the first time. Mm -hmm. And he was really worried about it, and fretting, and just nervous, and all I do is walk up behind him and put a little orange oil on the back of his head, and five minutes later, he's like, you know, I think I can do this. Aww. And he passed <laughs> on the first try. And a lot of that is That's just awesome. believing you can, and the orange mm -hmm. oil just helps you know you can do stuff. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. Yeah. So that's life changing powerful. It really is. That yeah. Really is. Yeah. Jenny said she has ADD, but she can't take any ADD meds because mm -hmm. she gets suicide thoughts from mm -hmm. it. Yeah, right. And that's common. It's really common. So try orange oil, try peppermint, try frankincense. Mm -hmm. Try frankincense. Those are really that's good. good. And also, a lot of people ask, you know, how do I use the oils? Okay, so this is good for that. How do I know when to take it internally? How do I know when to put it on? How do I know when to diffuse it? And I just, um, it kind of helps if you think of your body as a, break it down into systems, right? So we have a brain and nervous system that's kind of electrical. <clears throat> it's how, it, you, if you're dealing with um, thoughts and, and nerve pain, anything that you think involves your spinal cord and your brain, mm -hmm. you can apply oils right to the back of the neck. Really good, good mm -hmm. place to put it. If you're dealing with health, fatigue, organ health, adrenal glands, lymphatic system. Think of, you know, detoxing, those kind of things. You want to think of this area. It's a great, great, great thing to do is put a drop of oil, rub together, take three deep breaths, and then rub here. This is, you know, think of a, a doctor or a mom. If a kid is sick, they mm -hmm. feel the throat, right, to see if the glands are swollen. Mm -hmm. If you're dealing with anything like that, then put the oils right there. Great way to get it into those systems of your body. That's um, good advice. Diffusing mm -hmm. or rubbing and breathing is the fastest way, mm -hmm. especially for emotional things like the focus stuff. Breathe it in. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's emotional, mental clarity, that sort of thing, diffuse. Mm -hmm. Awesome for diffusing. Um, and then of course you can do topical for muscle pain. That that deep blue is so good for mm -hmm. rubbing into big muscle groups. You can rub it to wherever is needed. Um, bottom of the feet are awesome places to put the oils because your pores are really big there, gets into your bloodstream pretty quickly there, and it's particularly lovely for um, an oil you don't love the smell of because mm -hmm. it's on the bottom of your feet, it's the farthest place, but it's going to get into your system. I love to do that um, when I'm giving my kids stuff before school that they don't want to, they don't want their friends to smell the oil, yeah. but it, in the socks, in the shoes helps their That's body good. and it's not so noticeable. Mm -hmm. um, there are other ones I love that are I use as perfume. I put them here so that people can smell them when you give them a hug. Yes. You know, that's the best. So what are your favorites for perfume? My absolute favorite is Balance. Mm. Balance is a blend that to me smells like a walk through the woods in the spring. You know when you're walking mm -hmm. through like the, the leaf litter and you've got that spruce and um, I can't remember all the, there's definitely conifer oil in it. I can't remember which ones, but it's got that kind of woodsy aroma. But occasionally it's like you, um, you pass some, some flowers just in growing in the woods. Let's see what's in it. This stuff smells amazing. It's my absolute favorite. Okay, it's got spruce. Spruce is that woodsy smell. Mm, um, ho wood and frankincense, which I already told you, my body responds really well to frankincense. And you will find, as you use it, that your body will respond to particular oils really well. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to be drawn to it. If you love the smell of it, it's probably good for you. Um, yeah. Frankincense, the blue tansy, this does not make you blue. It's small enough, it doesn't do that. Chamomile, okay, so there's the flower. So like I said, it's like you were walking through the woods and you ran across some wild flowers. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And then it's got... Um, Osmanthus, so more flowers, so it's woodsy mm -hmm. and floral, it's beautiful smell. Mm -hmm. um, I know somebody else who uses the um, Citrus Bliss, which is basically orange and vanilla. Mm -hmm. which, yeah, that's, right. that's really good. obviously amazing, yeah. I mean that needs no explanation. There was a woman that I read about um, who was wearing Citrus Bliss as a perfume. Mm -hmm. So she did it, you know, temples, pulse points, just like you would a perfume. And she went to the doctor and the little girl 
kind of kept coming up to her. And then she Mama. heard that little girl go over to her mom and say, Mommy, that woman smells like sunshine. <laughs> How cool is that, right? That's the best. So citrus oils are amazing for perfume. Yes. Um, frankincense is awesome. really nice. If you like a more woodsy mm -hmm. um, perfume, I love woodsy smells. Yeah, me So too. that's a great perfume. Especially this time of year, like just making your house smell Yeah, it's, all it's good. nice and fall and comforting and kind of cozy. Mm -hmm. um, the jasmine, I just yeah. smelled that for the first time today. I'm so excited about the jasmine. Mm -hmm. That would be an awesome spring perfume. Yes. Because it's gorgeous. It smells mm -hmm. exotic and floral. If you like exotic perfumes, mm -hmm. um, that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but this one, oh, this is, I love it. Mm -hmm. This is my absolute favorite. They call it the grounding blend. Um, it's really, really good for people who suffer from, you know, depression and bipolar and stuff like that. I'm not saying it cures it. What I am saying is it just helps you feel like you can handle it. Mm -hmm. It just helps you. They call it grounding, and it's hard to describe what that means, but everybody kind of knows what you mean. It's grounding. I want to do this with my hands. It makes you yeah. come back to center. It makes you feel stable. Mm -hmm. um, this stuff is really amazing. Maybe that's why I like it, not just the smell, but it just yeah. makes you feel like you can conquer the world. That's awesome. And where would you recommend balance? To put I it? use it as a perfume, so I put it sides of the neck, wrists, mm -hmm. and temples. Okay. All right, so these are places where the blood flows really close to the skin, mm -hmm. so it gets into your system that way. Um, and it's also places that when I put it on, this is not super strong. You know, nobody wants to be in the elevator with the person who used too much perfume, mm -hmm. right? That is not this. <laughs> this, people notice when they hug you. And to me, yeah. that's how a perfume should be. Like, you should notice it when you hug somebody. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really nice. And people go, oh, and they'll feel better just for hug hugging you. And they mm -hmm. think it's just the hug, but it may be this. <laughs> so yes. it's awesome. That is awesome. Yep. Jenny asked if you can tell her where to get a good diffuser. Okay, well, um, my favorite one is doTERRA's little petal one. It's the small one yeah. that's purple and white. I, I don't... have it behind you. Do you have it? Oh, oh, it's that one. Do you want to bring it over? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and it really, really doesn't hurt that that she put that on it. It yes. doesn't come with that. <laughs> that's I really those awesome. As a link above. I make, I make um, custom ones too, but I do sell that's those as a link awesome. above. That's awesome. I want one of those for my diffuser. I love to make that It's figure. normally plain white on top, but it's still beautiful. Yes. I love this one. Thank you. It's really small. It's really powerful. In a room this size, which is like, what, 15 by 15 or something, 15 mm -hmm. by 20, something like that. Yeah. This is plenty for a room this size. I mean, yeah. it really will do a lot. So, um, and I put literally, this is how it works. You put water, and you want to use distilled water. You don't want it to clog it up with minerals. Um, and you fill the water to the red line. Mm -hmm. I put two drops. I kid you not. And that's sometimes strong. Depends on what you're doing. Two mm -hmm. drops of oil in there, and it'll run for four hours. Yeah. And it's amazing. Yes. And then it has a light. That you can it has a little on. light. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. Yeah. That's, that's the awesome. one. It's called the yeah. the pedal diffuser. Yes. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I do too. That's a, a favorite. It took me a long time to get yeah. one of those. I think I was in doTERRA for three years before mm -hmm. I ever diffused, which is hilarious because mm -hmm. most people go at it from the aromatherapy standpoint first. Mm -hmm. Me, skeptical, I'm going, I don't care about aromatherapy. I want medicine. Right. <laughs> right? So, like, I could care. I'm like, I feel fine emotionally. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Let's just, well, yeah, I'll never go back. Mm -hmm. Now that I use it, I diffuse it. I have this in my office. Um, at the last doTERRA conference, we had heard that really great idea about having a motion oh, sensor. yes, I liked that idea. That is such a cool mm -hmm. idea. So you can have, you know, you can buy those little aftermarket motion sensors at Lowe's or online at Amazon or wherever, and you can uh, attach it to your plug so that when you walk in the room, your diffuser turns on and just starts, yeah. and it'll turn off as you leave. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. I love that idea, yes. and then you're not wasting it, but... Yeah, I mean, I know I love that. This isn't very expensive. Two hundred and fifty drops in there. I mean, so it's, it's less than ten cents a drop. It's less than ten cents a drop. So for like twenty cents, I can do my whole day and make it yeah. smell. You cannot do that with perfume. No. So or air freshener. Oh, and God forbid, this is so much better mm -hmm. than a, than some sort of thing that you plug in your wall that mm -hmm. puts chemicals in your air that. You know, yeah. a lot of people are allergic to those. It's true. A lot of people are allergic to those plugins. Um, and severely allergic sometimes. And you don't know, even if you love something, it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that it's good for somebody who comes to your house. These That's are true. good for whoever comes to your house, mm -hmm. no matter what. You're, you're, you're not going to get an allergy. And you're mm -hmm. not going to, this is the other great thing about the oils, is you never have to worry about mixing them. 
unlike chemical, you know, man-made synth synthetic products, you have to be careful about interactions. Not with these. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you think of any two vegetables on earth you can't eat together because it's mm -hmm. dangerous? No, yeah. obviously. We can eat any kind of thing we want and combine it with anything else if it's real food. That's how these are so great. The same reason. You can combine any of these. A drop of balance and a drop of orange in there mm -hmm. is amazing together. Basically, orange is yeah. awesome with everything. Yeah. Um, lemon, too. That's awesome. But you can't mess this up. That's the beauty. You don't have to be scared. You just try stuff, mm -hmm. and you, your body will tell you. Um, what it really needs. I, I um, recently started using the Zendocrine, which I probably should have been using for years, the Zendocrine blend. Because I've had my gallbladder removed, my liver just needs additional support mm -hmm. because it's having to work harder than it's supposed to. So the Zendocrine, I just thought I'd try it. And I'm telling you, I took it for like two days and I could just feel the difference. Mm -hmm. um, it almost, I almost had that feeling like, if you've ever done a fast for a few days and you just, you get that headache the first few days and then you get the mental clarity mm. and everything's just ticking better. You can just tell you your body feels better. I hate fasting, by the way. <laughs> I, hate, is funny. I hate fasting. <laughs> like I said, I'm a foodie. I like to cook. I love butter. Yeah. Fasting, I don't love. But I do love the feeling I get after a few days of it. Mm -hmm. So Zendocrine kind of gives me that without quitting eating, which is epic. Um, and I just knew it was good for me. Mm -hmm. You know, you just your body will tell you. It, it knows what it needs. And um, I, I just say try them, awesome. play around with them. You do not have to worry about messing this up. Mm -hmm. You don't. Yeah. Worst case scenario, dilute them more. And um, oh, and speaking of dilution, this is the final thing that I wanted to talk about. It's it's a misconception that when you dilute oils, you get less potency in your body. Um, the best way I ever heard this explained, everybody's going, well, you know, it's just a natural product. It can't be that strong. These are strong. Mm -hmm. I see you don't have the, the coconut. I was looking for it, uh, the but coconut. the fractionated coconut, it yeah. comes in this larger bottle. It's really cheap because it's just for spreading the oils in a, uh, around your body. But if you think of one drop of any oil that you place on your body, Mm -hmm. It's extremely aromatic. Obviously, these are all aromatic compounds. Thus, you can use them for aromatherapy, right? But if you put a drop on your body and you're walking around and everybody else can smell it, well, that means that, well, that's great, but if they can smell it, they're getting some of the benefit of it. Mm -hmm. Everything they're smelling isn't getting into your system. So if it's for aromatherapy, it's helping everybody in the room. But if you're wanting to use something to help support your body and what your body is doing, you don't want that much escaping in the air. Mm -hmm. You want to get it in your system. So one drop of oil on your skin, you're losing a lot of it in the air. One drop of oil spread out over a larger area because you've put coconut oil or almond or apricot or olive oil even, but my favorite's the coconut. Um, you spread it over a wider area first, then you add the drop, rub that in. It's going to smell less strong but actually more of that one drop is getting into your system. Awesome. So it's, it's kind of crazy, but when you dilute, you get more, not mm -hmm. less potency. It's, it's really amazing. And mm -hmm. I think that's why doTERRA recommends it so much. They're mm -hmm. always talking about diluting. And who does that? Like who says use less of our product, right? Mm -hmm. But they do. And I think that's because it really will get you that one same drop is more powerful diluted over a wider area of skin than it is if you just put it straight. That's so good. It's almost counterintuitive, right? Yeah. But it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, because then you think, like, oh, I'm getting even more from my Every season. drop. And, and again, I'm, I say frugal. I'm cheap. Mm -hmm. I'm just flat out cheap. Like, I do not like to waste money. I'm very careful with money. I don't spend. This stuff saves you money in the mm -hmm. end. I just spend far less money on health care every year. Yeah. Far less money on products for my house. Far, certainly far less money in my medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. So... I'm, I'm all so about that. Great. I know I've learned so much from you on how to save yeah. money. It's awesome. I'm so grateful. And those melts are really cool. I'm telling you, I'm going to make AM melts, PM melts for the shower. Yes. And then I've got to make sure the jars are two different colors <laughs> so I know which is which because you do not want lavender in the morning and you do not want orange and peppermint in the evening. I promise. <laughs> you do not. They are powerful. Yes. Yeah. I love, I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is so good. I'm going to be sharing this to my mom. 
I also have a Facebook page called Educated and Thriving with Essential Oils. And so you can message me there. You can message Shannon there, and I'll make sure she gets that. Um, that way you can stay in touch with us. You can like that page and follow us there, too. And I'll make sure that Shannon gets it, too. Thank you. This was this so was much fun. fun. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, Thanks for everyone. watching today.